Hi, I'm Thierry, co-founder and head of DevRel at OctaML. And today I wanted to show you how you can customize your Stable Diffusion Excel model by applying a LoRa to it in order to achieve a very specific artistic or creative effect. So I've built this uh, SmartFlakes app to illustrate the power of LoRa's and uh, more specifically, you know, customization or fine tuning when applied to a foundation model like Stable Diffusion Excel. And so the SmartFlake app lets you generate your own serial box design. So that is a very specific and niche uh, task here in terms of uh, media or asset creation. And that is something that you can achieve only if you apply a level of customization to a model like Stable Diffusion XL. Um, and so, you know, I just wanted to show you an example output here of what happens when you enter Llama Flakes real tokens inside. And just with these few words, it comes up with an entire concept here of a serial uh, that is llama themed. So this is all really cool. And I'm gonna show you where I got this lore from. So uh, there are several websites uh, online where you can download uh, community loras. Uh, these have been obtained by fine tuning models like Stable Diffusion Excel on a set of training images. In this case, this person who uploaded this LoRa probably trained this LoRa on a handful of serial box images. And generally, folks who upload LoRa's will provide several images along with sample prompts that illustrate you know, what you get when you provide uh, different kinds of prompts into Stable Diffusion Excel. So, in order to play with this LoRa, all we have to do here is uh, download this uh, safe tensor file from this website. So I've already downloaded it. Uh, I'm not going to re-download it again, uh, but it's about 200 megabytes. So depending on your internet connection speed, uh, you should be getting it uh, relatively fast. And now we're gonna play around with this LoRa inside of Octo AI's image generation service. Now that is a very handy tool for us to experiment with Stable Diffusion Excel with or without LoRa's. So under image generation, I will click on asset library, which is a place where you can upload and manage your own assets that uh, are used to customize uh, Stable Diffusion models. So these assets are composed of checkpoints, LoRa's and textual inversions. And these are all different kinds of ways that you can apply uh, an additional layer of customization on top of models like Stable Diffusion XL or Stable Diffusion 1.5. Um, so there will be uh, a collection of Octo AI assets. So those are uh, preloaded uh, assets that you can play around with right away. Or you can click on My Assets and this is where you can curate your own collection of, of uh, assets. And truly you can upload and manage uh, upwards of uh, hundreds, if not thousands and more, tens of thousands of different assets here. There's a lot of possibilities. And the beauty of this asset library is that you can all access it through a very simple API when you're developing your web app. So this is extremely uh, powerful and offers a lot of flexibility, a lot of customization potential. So in order to upload your asset, there's this drag and drop box here that lets you take the model you downloaded from Hugging Face and upload it here. All you have to do is fill out this form, including a description, asset type, in this case, LoRa, data type, FP16, most of the time for SDXL. You can select the base model. And once that information has been filled out, you can click on confirm to upload the asset. And again, depending on your internet connection speed, that should take less than a minute probably. Uh, for most people. So I'm not gonna hit confirm because I've already uploaded it. Uh, it is this uh, serial box LoRa here that I'm gonna click on. And when you click on that asset, you can then access the image to image or text to image UI to play with this LoRa and see what kind of effect it has on Stable Diffusion Excel. So I'm gonna set the weight to one, which means I'm applying it fairly strongly. Um, and I'm gonna hit launch tool. So now I'm gonna access the text to image UI that lets me play around with image generation. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take a prompt from that Super Serial SDXL LoRa page. I'm gonna take the Star Wars Wookiee bits, which is kind of fun. So I'm gonna enter it here. 
And now that I've entered it, I don't really need to change uh, a lot of other uh, settings. I'm probably just gonna increase the image count to four to essentially perform a sweep. I will change the dimensions though, so that instead of being square image, it's gonna be a portrait one, which is probably more appropriate for a uh, serial box design. So I hit generate, that should give me a handful of images and uh, let's just wait a couple of seconds to get the resulting images. And you can see below that we have uses examples for Python, TypeScript, and a simple curl. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, in terms of output, we certainly have uh, really great looking serial box uh, images. Uh, of course, SDXL is known for text uh, generation, but it, it won't be perfect. So there will be typos, and oftentimes the secret here is to generate images over and over again until you have something that looks uh, properly formatted. Um, but it is working great. And if you remove the LoRa by clicking on the bin and hit generate, just a sanity check, you will see that by not applying the LoRa now, we're gonna get um, you know, very different uh, results. Uh, we're not gonna get the, the serial box uh, look, uh, which was uh, kind of the point of applying this LoRa here. So instead, we're just getting these uh, fun little designs or fun little posters here, uh, but definitely not a, a serial box. So that is the, the power of lore is it's bringing a layer customization and layer specialization to your uh, stable diffusion model. And that comes in the form of uh, artistic styles, uh, specialization on you know, generating images for certain objects uh, or products or sometimes people or characters. So I'm gonna go back and apply the same Laura here, go to my Laura, zero box Laura, set that to one. And uh, when you've applied this lore, you'll see, um, we're gonna click on the curl usage example. You'll see how uh, it needs to be uh, passed in here to this uh, lore dictionary in order to activate it when you're using our API. So that's all you have to do here to activate the serial box lore once you've uploaded it to the asset library. And this value here is the weight that we set. So we set it to one. And that's about it. That's all you need to do here in order to use it. You upload the LoRa and then you pass that LoRa name along with the weight. And this is how you can use it behind an API. So it's as easy as one, two, three. Um, I will provide you with a link to this GitHub project called SmartFlakes. It's a Next.js web app that you can uh, run locally or deploy on Vercel. And that allows you to exert this uh, LoRa fine tuning or customization to Stable Diffusion Excel. So I will provide you with uh, a readme that has all the instructions here to build and run SmartFlakes. And if we go to app API predictions route.typescript, you will see how we are invoking or how we're calling into the uh, Stable Diffusion Excel uh, API endpoint. Uh, in Octavia's image generation service. So that's it. That concludes our episode on Stable Diffusion XL LoRa customization. And I will show you the app in action here. It's uh, available on smartflakes.vercel.app. And all you have to do is provide a concept for a serial box design and hit generate. So here we have llama flakes with real tokens inside. That sounds really yummy. Uh, <laughs> and within a couple seconds, sure enough, you'll get a fun little um, cereal box design with llamas and delicious looking cereal. So that concludes our episode on Laura customization. Uh, we showed you how to use it in this image, uh, in this text image um, use case. And in the next episode, we're going to show you how you can use Laura's with image to image in Stable Diffusion Excel in order to achieve really interesting artistic effects. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video.